First Love by Charles Calverley. On my earliest love, who e'er I numbered, ten sweet summers made my bosom thrill. Will a swallow or a swift or some bird fly to her and say, I love her still? Say my life's a desert dream and arid to its one green spot I a recue. Never, never, all the three times married, have I cared a jot for aught but her. Now mine own, but early forced to leave you, still my heart was where, where first we met, in those lodgings with an ample sea view, which were forty years ago to let. Where I saw her first, our landlord's oldest little daughter, on a thing so fair, though, O son, who, so they say, beholdest everything, hast gazed, I tell thee near. Where she sat, so near me, yet remoter than a star, a blue-eyed bashful imp, on her lap she held a happy bloater, twixt her lips a yet more happy shrimp. And a laughter and our trot we plighted on the moor by a shining shore. In a fortnight to be disunited by a bitter fate for evermore. On my own, my beautiful, my blue eyed, to be young once more and bite my thumb at a world and all its cares with you, I'd give no inconsiderable sum. Hand in hand we trimmed the golden seaweed, soon as over grey cliff peeped the dawn. Side by side, when come the hour for tea, we crunched the model shrimp and hairy prawn. Has she wedded some gigantic shrimper, that sweet mite with whom I love to play? Has she girt with babes that whine and whimper, that bright being who was always gay? Yes, she has at least a dozen wee things. Yes, I see her dawning corners, scurrying floors, and sitting out for tea things, for holding herd of hungry boys. In a home with wrecks of tar, but in their world she thinks, I know, of those days which were afar from turmoil, spent together forty years ago. On my earliest love still unforgotten, with your dog-cast eyes of dreamy blue, never somehow could I seem to cotton to another as I did to you.